What's up, guys? We'll be back to our channel. This is once again Mike Mukairo. Today we are looking at how do basic shapes influence architecture. Have you ever wondered how basic shapes are used in architecture? Why are they used? When should they be used? When we talk of basic shapes, we are talking of the primary basic shapes, the square, the circle, the triangle. Okay. How do these primary shapes affect architecture? Let us start with a square and a rectangle. For the square and rectangle, low cost and ease of construction are the primary reasons that architects actually go for. Okay? Low cost and ease of construction. They mean a lot when it comes to the square and the rectangle in architecture. For the triangle, unlike the square and the rectangle, the triangle is the most structurally sound shape, not only in commercial architecture, but also in residential architecture. Then we talk about the square, the circle. This one is considered to be the strongest of the shapes because stress is evenly distributed along the arc instead of concentrating at one particular point. And these factors greatly determine and influence why these primary shapes are very influential in the architecture design. So let's go back to the square and the rectangular shapes. The square and the rectangular shapes are exponentially easier to reconcile. And there is always limited waste, whether at design level or even at construction stage. You have these designs at 90 degrees that are very strong structurally, psychologically, and even spatially. They are easier and faster to work with, but also more economical to build out of ordinary materials such as stone, concrete, bricks, and even wood. When it comes to electrical and mechanical plumbing systems, piping systems, again you're going to find that the square and the rectangular shapes are the most appropriate that can easily influence your architecture design. Because of the vertical and the horizontal planes, these systems can easily be aligned. When it comes to modern and contemporary architecture, again you're going to find that the square and the rectangular shapes have greatly contributed and actually influenced these design styles. The so-called minimalism or the concept, the architectural concept of less is more has been greatly expressed through the use of the square and the rectangular shapes. You see, this concept of less is more was first coined by architect uh, Ludwig Myers van Looy with just an, a, 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 an approach of uh, having this design that you're stripping down to the basic essentials. Okay? You're leaving out all these other elements that do not contribute to the pure beauty and the function of an object or a space. You, you have this pure, pure design with very beautiful planes, uh, which is seen today as modern and contemporary architecture. But when you look back to the basics, it's actually the primary shapes of the square and the rectangular that have actually influenced and contributed a lot to these styles. Another interesting shape is the triangle. Okay? How has the triangle influenced architecture design? Okay, you see a triangle can't be distorted without actually disassembling one of its joints or actually changing the length of one of its sides. Without doing that, the triangle is very stable. 
So this alone makes the triangular design more structurally stable as compared to, for instance, the square or the rectangle. And as such, this has greatly influenced architecture designs. When architects are targeting to have a very stable on-ground structure, then they are going to have to somehow implement or influence their designs to have some triangular designs so as to be able to bring out that stability within the structure. Lastly, we want to talk about the circle or the circular shapes. Now, it is common knowledge that perfecting a circular design at construction level is much more complicated, especially when compared to dealing with a square or rectangular shape design. Okay? However, due to the circular surfaces, you're going to find that uh, when you're dealing with circles or a circular design, you're going to use less material which actually leads to less labor. Why is that so? Because the surface area of uh, a circular plane is much less compared to the surface area of a flat plane. Once again, you're going to find that uh, when you're dealing with uh, the circular shape or circular designs, there is improved ventilation due to high ceilings increased energy efficiency due to the surge in heat transfer okay you also have increased wind resistance as wind will always flow around the buildings instead of getting trapped at some point point. and as such the circular shape the circle has greatly influenced a lot of architecture designs especially when you're targeting to influence, when you're targeting to save energy, when you're targeting to improve ventilation within this building or uh, what you're targeting you to follow, okay? Then you're going to find that the circle is a very important shape as far as the design is concerned. Once again, this is Mike Mukaira, Real Estate plus Architecture plus Land Management, Education and Guidance. Please do leave your comments below, but you can also connect and follow us through other social media platforms uh, by following the links in the description. We do have architecture designs and construction guidance, it's a Facebook page, real property guidance, a PG, it's a WhatsApp group, Instagram, Twitter, all those social media platforms you can be able to reach us and connect with us. But more so, I would, want you to, I would want to encourage you to uh, check out our previous video where we were talking about uh, home storage furniture designs. You might be interested in something to do with home storage and how furniture designs uh, actually solve that. Otherwise, in case you haven't, please do subscribe, like, and keep getting uh, notified every time we upload a new video to this channel. Just keep on the lookout for our next video on every Monday. We actually do upload uh, a new video to this channel. Otherwise, at Real Property Guidance, we are saying thank you. Keep up the support. Let's keep sharing knowledge and guiding each other. Thank you once again.